Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the previous video, we implemented a use case for using data operations in Power Automate. In this video, we will be learning about OData filter query. You can visit this link here provided. This is where you can learn more about OData filter query. We need to remember that getItems has a limit of how many rows it can receive in a single time. It means large number of rows cannot be received. So we will filter it or we will use O data query here. We will test this to know the logical name of donor type. We will copy this name here. In the create an HTML table step, we will also add the donor type. Now we will go to get items, check for filter query and write logical name of donor type EQ, first time donor in single quotes. We have created this flow successfully and we will now continue to save and test it and we will test it manually. Our flow ran successfully and we have received the output and this output only contains the data of those people who are first time donor. And that's it. In the next video, we will learn about introduction to HTTP request in Power Automate. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.